Hello everybody, welcome back to the Hespi Taste Test. We are going to be trying all of the new items I just hauled in my latest haul. And as I said before, there's literally something for everyone in this haul. So without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and start trying all these new foods. All right, I think the first thing we're gonna try is the Bizarre Basket Snack Mix. There's a bunch of different things in here. I go all into depth in my haul about it, so I'm not gonna go into it again on here, but we're just gonna go ahead and try it. There's a couple dried fruits in here. I'm really interested in the sour cherries. I'm just gonna go get a handful of it mm. so I get a mix of all the good stuff. That is sour. What do you think, hun? Mmm. Like you don't like it? Okay. Here, you'll like this. This is an apricot. These are sweet. <laughs> so, I'm actually pleasantly surprised by this. It's really good. There's a lot of different flavors going on. The pistachios are really yummy. Pretty much everything in here is a great blend. I really like this. Yeah, I mean, I, I got a big handful to get everything. And it just tastes like a lot of like the mixed nuts. So um, mm -hmm. the fruit was rather subtle. Um, you said that the cherry was sour. Yeah, because um, I just tried it on its own. I didn't, I think I tried a cherry and I couldn't really taste it with the nuts in there. It was just like a nice compliment right. to give it a nice little sweet, uh, sweet flavor within the, the nuts, but um, pretty good. Yeah, it's really a, a good you know, nut mix, I guess. Yeah, easy peasy. Okay, let's go ahead and just try this one too, because this is my least favorite thing that I'm, I should say, least excited about. Um, it's the Seeds and Fruit Trek, Trek Mix, and it's in individual bags. So one bag looks like this. It comes in a little packet. All right, here goes. I'm not doing what Tim's doing. <laughs> Oh, there's little chocolate chips in here. Oh, are there? Yeah. Go ahead, take it. Of course, Benson's gonna have the chocolate chips. What uh, do you think? I, I actually like these quite a bit because they're like very small. It's, you know, right after having the, the large nut mix, uh, and then having these small little sunflower seeds, uh, they make it very delicate in your mouth and it's really easy to, to chew. Uh, Opposite of what I just said about the last mix, these ones, the fruit actually stands out quite a bit in this one. Because mm -hmm. um, they're the normal same size fruit, but smaller uh, nuts or sunflower seeds in this case. And uh, it's really soft, juicy fruit. I thought it was really good. Yeah, I think that's actually a really good point, um, having the smaller pieces. Uh, and there might actually be more dried fruit in this one than the one, or maybe you yeah. just got more it, in it your hand. probably handful. is the case, yeah. So. Yeah, I mean, actually, I'm more surprised than anything because I really wasn't expecting to like it, and it's actually pretty decent. It's It has a good salt, like saltiness to it, which I think helps anything taste better. So all in all, I think it's a great little um, bag to take and, you know, grab and go, put it in your purse, you need a little pick-me-up, you got this. All right, the next thing we're gonna go ahead and try are the new roasted broccoli and roasted cauliflower. I just quickly microwave these to um, see how they go in the microwave and pretty basic. It's just roasted cauliflower, roasted broccoli, and there is olive oil, sea salt, and black pepper on them. So I started with the cauliflower. It's actually really good. Um, honestly, like the the texture, the consistency mm, of it, it's right. really soft, but not like too soft. It's got that little bit of like a little crisp bite when you bite into it, but not too crisp. It's perfect. At least this one was. And the flavor was good too. No complaints. I 100% agree with Tim. This is delicious. I love vegetables and these are fantastic. They have great flavor. Mm. Um, the roasted uh, part of it just really gives it a lot of depth and it tastes like way better than just like steaming stuff, which is mm -hmm. what I do a lot. So. Um, yeah, this is amazing. I'm a little disappointed it's not organic. Uh, I wish it was, especially at the, this price point because it was pretty mm. pricey and you could essentially just do the same thing uh, with a head of broccoli mm -hmm. and it could be a lot cheaper and you could probably get more out of it, but it's easy. convenience factor. Yeah. Um, and honestly, I don't know if I could get my vegetables to taste this delicious doing it on my own. <laughs> It's pretty good. I'll be honest. It's it's pretty good. All right, we're gonna move on to um, let's do the uh, berry freeze dried berry medley mix. 
This is something I think that would be a great snack for kids. And I mean, as an adult, you can eat it too, but I think these are gonna be more of like a kid's treat. It has uh, freeze dried blueberries, strawberries, and raspberries, and everything's organic in here. So Vincent, did you wanna try? This is what it looks like on the inside. Mm. Get in there, dude. Everybody take a piece. You can go in for the strawberry first. Oh. I'm going for the medley. The triple, the trifecta. Mmm. Yummy. These are good. So the strawberry and the raspberry had a, actually pretty sour. And mm -hmm. then the blueberry was really sweet. Um, but really good. I really like these. Yeah, these, these are, are great delicious. treat. These yeah. are a really good treat. I agree. So yummy. Did you want to have another one? Benson likes the strawberries. I'm telling you guys, you could use this um, in so many different ways. I think you could even crush it up and sprinkle it on your oatmeal or just mm. leave it, you know, as is. Or uh, ice cream is another one. Um, yogurt parfait, you can do this. There's a lot of different options for these. And it's nice because they're freeze dried, so you don't have to worry about them going bad. And again, great for camping. A lot of people are going yeah. camping. And, you know, that's kind of one of the few things you can do to get away. Next up, we're gonna try oh. the kimchi, okay. the spicy fermented Napa cabbage. Oh man, I'm just as nervous as you are. I mean, at least I'm not alone on this one. You're you're going through it with me. I am. Um, I don't know that I've ever had kimchi before, I let haven't. alone spicy kimchi. Um, should be exciting. Woof. <laughs> All right, it looks kind of like brains. Brains. <laughs> it's got Ooh, just the aroma. The aroma of of this is just in your face. Okay. That is powerful. <laughs> Benson's, starting. Benson's hiding, as you can tell. <laughs> All right, I'm taking the big bite. I'm gonna go for it. What do you think? It's um, not as bad as I was expecting it to be. Actually, it's not that bad. I want to know from you guys, what do you put this on? I don't think you eat it plain. I'm sure you don't, or maybe you do, but what dishes yeah. do these go well with? Because it does have a really good flavor. It's not too spicy. There is a spiciness to it, but all in all, it's actually not bad at all. No, I. I was really thinking I was gonna like make some faces and, <laughs> and really I was too. And, and really uh, have a problem with it. Um, it's not that bad. Uh, the flavor was actually pretty good on it. Um, yeah. I'm thinking maybe something like throwing it into like a stir fry or something like that would would complement flavors that are that are in the in the pan with it. But um, not bad, honestly. Uh, if I I think we found the right way to use it it would be a nice ingredient to add totally and i really enjoy this so if you guys do have recipes i'm sure there's a ton out there that um kimchi goes well with um but yeah just comment down below so that we can use this up and make a delicious dish with it because i'm very pleasantly surprised and i'm actually excited because i know this is actually really good for you so um thumbs up to it yay trying something new um all right let's go ahead and try the labna Labne, Labna, I don't know. Creamy, tangy, extra strain, Middle Eastern style kefir cheese. So I think this is gonna be, like it says, tangy. That's what I'm expecting. You know what Benson wants, he just wants bread. And I promise you, outside of these taste tests, he talks a lot. It's just when the camera turns on, he stops talking. <laughs> All right, okay, this looks like sour cream. Yeah, it does look a lot like sour cream. It doesn't have much of a smell. It smells like yogurt, kind of? Kind of. I'm just putting a little on the Middle Eastern flatbread. Tastes like yogurt. Yeah, it kind of does taste like yogurt. Yeah. Yeah. No, no silly <laughs> faces, sorry. It's still, uh, it's a pretty good it's item. It's actually really good. Yeah. I really like that. Um, it's got almost like a really buttery, good. buttery creaminess <clears throat> to it. It's uh, yeah. I, I'm curious as to what what we would use this with. Um, not never heard of it before, so I'm not sure how to use it in the right way. But um, I bet it would be pretty good if we found the right right uh, 
recipe. Yeah, I actually have a friend who's Persian and we've eaten a lot of Persian food. His mom was really good at making food and um, there's something that, this reminds me a lot of a yogurt that has shallots in it and it's delicious, it's my favorite. I can eat it like ice cream and this has like the same base as that yogurt and I'm wondering if I could just chop up some shallots and mix it in and it'll be very similar. I think this would be good with rice too. So if you guys like rice, yeah, yeah. this yogurt kind of yogurt, cheese, dip, whatever, rice and maybe some type of protein, really yummy. So once again, I love all this stuff and we're just dipping into all different cultures, <laughs> which I love too. So we're gonna actually try the new Vermont uh, Creamery St. Albans Cow's Milk Cheese. It actually just looks like a little brie. You can heat this up. I don't wanna heat it up because we're not gonna eat the whole thing right now. It comes in this really gorgeous little ceramic dish that you can obviously reuse. So I'm trying to uh, go buy like two or three more so I have a full set and give it a try. So, <clears throat> yeah, so, so this is like a fondue, right? Yeah, it, it up can be a fondue, it. but it looks a lot like a brie to it me. It does. It's like a soft cheese. So, so I just spread a little on the Middle Eastern flatbread again. Here, I got you some. Oh, thank you. And we're just going to try it on this because I love brie and bread. I think it goes well together, even though I don't think this is brie, but... Mm. It's got a sharp flavor. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Uh oh. Uh oh. He's uh, spitting it out in the trash for those that can't see. It was that oh. bad, huh? Um, it started off good. I, I was confident. Um, whoo! <laughs> Not for me. I don't like that one. All right. Fair enough. That's a, that's a very pungent smell and flavor and, um, <clears throat> yeah. We need to get to those beers. <laughs> okay. Beer. One beer. Um, okay, let's do the protein bars real quick. So there's the cookies and cream and caramel cashew. I'm just going to try one. I don't want to open both bars, but which one do you prefer? Um, let's try cookies and cream. Okay. These are the Bear Bells. New protein bars, 200 calories per bar, which is awesome. Oh my gosh. It Ooh, looks like straight fancy. up a candy bar. It has like... Little Rice Krispies yes, on top. Yes, that looks great. Excuse me. Hmm. Um, look. Oh my gosh. All right, let me try this. Clear my palate. Mmm. Those are delicious. Oh my gosh. Those say it tastes like a candy bar. Mmm. Those are so... So good. Yeah. Okay, I want another bite. That's still. Mm, mm. That's seriously, this is one of the best protein bars I've ever had, and I love yeah. perfect bars. I agree. But these are like contenders right here. This, mm, it's like cookie dough in the middle. It's like nougat, um, really mm -hmm. creamy, fluffy, and then it's great because they put the the rice crispy or the whatever the mm -hmm. yeah rice crispies whatever on the outside, give it that crunch. Oh, it's really good. I. I mean, and cookies and cream is hard to get right sometimes, especially in a protein bar. Yeah. That one nailed it. I yeah. love that. That's really good. I mean, Benson's going to town on it too. It's a protein bar. Could you, like, I'm just, I'm shocked. Yeah. Shocked. And only one gram of sugar too. There are sugar alcohols though. 14 grams of sugar alcohols. And I know some people are really not into that. So there's that. Uh, delicious. That's a good love one. that. That's a good one. We're going to go ahead and try the new nacho cheese organic flavored corn tortilla chips. Go ahead. I'm going in then, dude, if you're not. Cheesy chip. Try one bite. Mm. It's really good. I really like these chips. Are these the same? Are these the same as the ones that they have in the bigger bag? They're very similar. They may be different, but. I don't think the big bag is organic. That's the only thing, mm -hmm. but they do taste mm. very similar and they're very good. Yes, they, they are. They just taste like cheesy Doritos. Yeah, this is a lot like Doritos. Like nacho Doritos or whatever they're called. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, delicious. I I mean, I love chips. Chips are easy to eat. They're delicious and cheesy. <laughs> nacho cheese, you can't go wrong. Exactly. <laughs> so I'm gonna go grab the corn 
green chili pepper quiche. I have that in the oven right now and it just beeped. Tim's gonna go ahead and try the uncured turkey jerky right now while I go get that and the beer because that's in the freezer. So I'll be right back. So yes, this is the organic uh, uncured turkey jerky. Uh, I anticipate this is gonna be pretty straightforward. I don't think it has any added seasonings or anything to it beyond just, you know, the uh, normal stuff, but let's go ahead and open this up. Okay, here we go. Very good. But yeah, it's really soft. It's really good. Um, the it, It's basic turkey jerky. If you had turkey jerky, they're all pretty much the same. It's very peppery though. Um, so they must season it with quite a bit of pepper, but uh, I'll be enjoying it. This is really good. And I don't, we don't typically buy jerky just because it's a little bit more expensive per pound, but it's really good. I like it. You want to dip some jerky? Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> oh, oh my, my God. gosh. That is... Okay, I'm going to go ahead and open this new watermelon beer. This one looks so good. I couldn't pass it up. So it has a really nice, like golden, ambery yeah. color. Smells amazing. I'll let you try it first. Okay, makes sense. <laughs> mm, it does smell great. It smells really good. Mmm, that is really good. You're gonna like this is it? one. Yeah, I think okay. you're really gonna like this. So it's, um, it's like a beer. It's not like a watermelon drink. Sometimes you get a beer that like. I think it's like Blue That's Dog really or something good. like that, and it's really blueberry, and you're like, oh, this doesn't taste like beer. That's a great beer with a hint of watermelon. Um, I think it's really good. I want some more of yeah, that. Yeah, it definitely has, like the aftertaste has the watermelon, and like Tim said, it definitely tastes like a beer, mm -hmm. um, and it just <laughs> has like a really refreshing like watermelon flavor at the end, and it's so good. Yeah. Like, so, so good. It's not too flavorful it's not too beery you know what i mean like it's a perfect combination okay so we're gonna go ahead and try the corn and chili pepper quiche this is comes in frozen and it's actually really cute it comes in a little tortilla shell and you just cook in the oven in this little um dish that they give you and it has this like outer tortilla shell and then the quiche just bakes right into it so i'm gonna just take my fork and Take a bite. There's another fork there for you, honey. Okay. It smells amazing. I can smell the chilies in there. Yum. Do you want to try this? No? Okay. It's pretty hot, hot still, mm -hmm. yeah. It smells, like mm. you said. Oh my gosh. Mm. It smells amazing. That flavor is unreal. This reminds me a lot of my chili egg bake that I make. Mm -hmm. Like a lot. I like the crunchy shell that it comes with. It really adds to it, and there's actual like corn chunks in there. Um, excellent. I'm, there's there's a lot of corn flavor in this. This mm -hmm. tastes uh, like the first flavor that I got was corn, um, and really sweet. It's really good. I yeah. like it. This is a great dish. Uh, yeah, it is. And and then the green chili flavor in there. Oh my goodness, the crunch of the tortilla. Mm -hmm. I love this. This dish is great. Now the final and last thing that Benson's been waiting for the entire time: the new dark chocolate almond butter cups. These are in individual packages, and they're usually at the register. So if you guys are looking for it, look there. This is what they look like. Oh, they're not even wrapped. No paper. Just, nice. You just eat them. Go ahead and take one, dude. Mmm. They're soft on the bottom, be careful. Cheers. Mmm. Oh. Told ya. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say there is a ton of chocolate on these things. It's like a thick shell wow. of chocolate and just like a teeny little spread of almond in the middle. But yeah, it's it's like if you guys like dark chocolate, this is like dark chocolate with like the hint of the almond butter and the almond butter is really creamy and um it's not like firmed up like peanut butter cup so if you do want it firm i would say put it in the fridge and then you'll have like a more firm middle but the chocolate is thick so just be wary of that because once it's refrigerated it'll make it even harder to bite into but <clears throat> delicious i love those those yeah. are really good so much flavor um it's nice because it's kind of like a switch up from from I think we typically have peanut butter cups mm -hmm. and 
we've had the little the little almond butter cups, yeah. um, which have been great. This is just like that, except in a, in a bigger, flatter uh, form. Yeah. But really good. <laughs> those those hit the spot. It was delicious. Yes, I agree. So. What do you think, Benson? Chocolatey. Chocolatey. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that's it. We tried everything. It was a lot. Thanks for sticking it out this long. If you made it this far, we appreciate you guys. If you're new to my channel, love to have you subscribe and find out more about all the new items at Trader Joe's every week. And give it a thumbs up if you guys liked it. Anyways, thanks, guys, for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Aww.